Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. And I'm Captain Willie Dykes. And Andrew, it seems like the weather is finally starting to cooperate here. Yeah, it sure is, but not before we had to reschedule a couple of fishing trips. You have to get out there when the conditions allow, and that was certainly the case when it came to scheduling our annual black sea bass trip earlier this week. Now, opening day for black sea bass in Delaware was May 15th, and given the wind and the rain, we had to delay a few days, but the wait was well worth it. It's deja vu all over again as we leave from Lewis Harbor on a sunny Friday morning. Once again, we'll be targeting black sea bass aboard the Little Angler 2. And once again, we'll be fishing with some guy named Fishman, who's called that for a reason. We'll pass lighthouses to our left and to our right and go out past the shipping lanes to fish some of the wreck sites in the Delaware Bay. Although, where exactly? has yet to be determined. I still really haven't made up my mind. I was coming up here where I gotta make a decision soon. And right now I'm leaning towards uh, site 11 with the uh, rail cars. So we're probably gonna start at the uh, site 11, about 80 feet of water. And uh, if that doesn't work, then we'll go deeper. Site 11 lies some 16 miles off of Indian River and is one of 14 permitted artificial reef sites in the Delaware Bay. About 80 feet below, you'll find all sorts of old boats and vehicles that were cleaned up and sunk as part of Delaware's successful artificial reef program. These reefs have become a magnet for fish, and just as soon as we put our lines in the water, we have evidence to back this up. The sea bass have to be at least 12 and a half inches to keep, and before long... Look at that, perfect. Julie Cullen has our first of many keepers. Ah, 13. Oh, look at that. There we go. There go. Excellent. Yep. Yeah. Little one. We're gonna check that out. Beautiful flow. We have some mullet, some finger mullet. We have some surf clams that we're cleaning up. And uh, just big pieces of squid, some little pieces of squid. A good day of fishing. It's going out, having fun with friends, getting back to the dock safely. A great day is catching fish. I'm right in the bucket. This is turning out to be a busy day. So our keepers will be going into a bucket first to help first mate Chris Wagner keep track of our total. So with the fish coming over the sides, we uh, measure them real quick and just throw them in a bucket if they're keepers. And then every so often we take the fish and we count them as we put them in the cooler. So this is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16, and that way we keep an accurate count on, on the fish that we have. And I think we just got 17. This is a great time to target the sea bass who are congregating on the wreck sites during spawning season. Captain Brian will be constantly keeping us over the fish today, and that means a full day of checking out various spots not that far from site 11, but each change in location produces the desired result. Oh! Fantastic. I'm going to have a good supper. Throw back the keeper ratios, probably keeping 40%, throwing back 60%. I can live with that all day. There's also the dogfish to contend with, of course, but also some nice sized tautog. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll see them in the fall. Yeah, here's a knucklehead. We need to find out what Fishman is doing different because he keeps bringing in the big dogs. There he is. Tell me about this guy, man. What do you think? This is the mother of all sea bass. Share it. Well, that can feed the masses, brother. Hey, guys, and on that note, we'll pass the, uh, pass the wreck on that note. Let's call it a day. This was one of those days where the action was practically non-stop. We'll count 41 keepers in the cooler, 
So as far as this day goes, we'll put a lid on it and head home. Get outdoors, Delmarva!